Hello everyone and welcome to this video. As you can see, I am at Book Alley and that is in Pasadena, California. I have been to this store a few times, but I thought today I would take the opportunity to show you around. So as soon as you walk in, you have some of their new arrivals. Now, keep in mind, this is a used bookstore, so their new arrivals are not necessarily the kind of new arrivals that you would see in a store like Barnes & Noble. So, I guess it's just pop, maybe it's popular books that have arrived. And as we walk along here, to the left side, there are a bunch of records. And to the right, we've got like nonfiction art books and We've got travel books and stuff like that. And on this wall, we have a beautiful book wall of mass market paperbacks. And these in particular are the mystery and there's also romance over there. And to the right side is science fiction. And here we have new arrivals for the teen and children books. And there's some Nancy Drew in there, Mr. Popper, Pen Penguins, Charlotte's Web, um, a lot of good choices. And here are some of the romance books. And I don't know if there's any particular order to those. Maybe they're more popular ones or I'm not sure. And then we have one of my favorite sections. We have mysteries. So we've got authors like Charlene Harris, Dean Koontz, um, there's some Stephen King. There's so many books here. Floor to almost ceiling. And even on the floor, there's like a row of books. You'll be able to see it here at the bottom of the screen. Just a row of books on the floor. There are boxes of books here everywhere. There are just so many books. This one in particular. Like, I don't know why. I just really like that cover. Now, I don't know if I want to pay $3.99 for a lot of these books because uh, none of them are on my wish list or anything, but it's good to note that they are half of the cover price. So pretty much all these books that you're going to see in this section are going to be $4. So I'm just finding some super cute ones. The More the Terrier. <laughs> I love books like that that have funny puns in the title or that have dogs and cats meow is for murder and we have some trouble making cats there <laughs> and let's see i'm sure i can find another one murder past due this is i think this is a library series that has cats in it of course i already i'm pretty sure i already own that one and i look it up in my list and yes i do own it so don't want to repeat and buy that one and let's just look over some more of the books. We have made our way over to the teen section or YA. I saw this book by Lainey Taylor, Dreams of Gods and Monsters. Um, I don't, I, I think it's part of a series. I'm not sure. I just know I've heard that author's name. Um, and a lot of people like their books, but I've never read one before and, um, I wasn't sure if it's part of a series and it, I don't know. That's what I'm going to have to look into to see if I even want to read it. Let's see what else they have here. Nothing that I'm noticing too much that intrigues me. They have lots and lots of Harry Potter. Um, I saw lots of the Divergent series, which I'm sure that you'll see in a moment. So... There are some books, there's just not a lot that I'm super into wanting to buy.
I didn't know that Finding Audrey was a book written by Sophie Kinsella. I had heard of it, but I didn't know that that was the author. I'll have to look into that more, see if it is one I'd like. I have read a couple other books by that author, but I just didn't really love them as much as I thought I would. So I don't know, maybe I'll rent that from the library or something. I always look for John Green novels when I'm at a used bookstore. And this one, I saw a different cover looking for Alaska. It is the 10th anniversary edition. And I loved that cover. I really, really wanted to buy that book, but I already have the paperback and I haven't read it yet. So I don't even know if I really like it. So I didn't want to buy the more expensive edition. I might regret it later, but oh well. Another author that I have heard named a lot is Libba Bray. And I saw this book, it's Going Bovine or Bovine, I'm not sure how to say that, but the cover looked so strange and I was not sure what that book was about. I was just, I was intrigued just cause it looked so f like different. Uh, I should look into it again to see what it was about. Have any of you heard of this book? Is it good? Is it worth picking up and reading? These books were kind of showcased and I saw The Sun is Also a Star, but I've already read that. But then I saw Save the Date by Morgan Matson, and this was in my TBR video for books I wanna read before my wedding. And this was a signed copy and I had wanted to buy this at a different used bookstore I went to, but I ended up not buying it. And so when I saw it here, I just knew I had to have it. I think it was $15, which might have been cover price because it was a signed first edition, but I didn't mind. I love having first editions and it was signed, so that's cool. So of course I picked that up and I grabbed it and um, I think I have a video of me flipping through it, which you can see at the end of this video. Um, how lucky is this person to be working here behind all these stacks of books? Such a dream. I have made my way to this special wall of books. I believe that these are all signed copies. You see all the tags sticking out. I think they're either signed or there's some also first edition. So of course these are gonna be priced a little bit more, but it's really cool that they have a separate section for them. Makes it very easy to browse. And now we are walking through well, first of all, I see a drink up there, and why is that there? <laughs> I, I didn't notice that when I was walking around first. But this is the nonfiction section, and I am on a hunt for the fiction and the horror novels. Um, I didn't remember where they were. I've only been here a couple of times, but I found them. And here we have True Crime. They have a new arrival section, so I think that was cool. 
makes it easier to, I think, know where to look. It's so overwhelming. There's so many books here. So I like when they kind of have new arrivals or they separate first edition, signed copies. Um, they kind of just highlight some of the more popular things. And I like that. So I have found the fiction, but I still want to find horror novels. Where are they? Here they are. <laughs> As you can tell, I have made my way to the mystery section because I didn't see anything in the horror section that really intrigued me. Um, this Vampire Hunter novel by Nancy Atherton looked really cute. And I, um, for a moment, thought, should I buy this? It reminds me of Halloween, but then I didn't. But I did stumble upon a Korean section, which is really cool, but I am not advanced enough in my Korean language learning to be able to read novels. Um, maybe kids books, maybe. <laughs> and I would understand maybe half of the kids book. Um, but I thought it was funny. There was books on the floor here. There is a very stocked looking back room. And let's just say there are a lot of books here. And we are making our way past the classic novels, past, um, I believe we're venturing into the fiction right now. There's just a lot of books here. So here's, you can see the, all the William Shakespeare books were together. Um, all the poetry books were together. It just makes it really easy to navigate. So I like that about this store. And this is a wall of staff picks. So I see that there is Taylor Jenkins Reid, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I have not read yet, but I keep hearing people rave about it. So I definitely want to read that. Uh, I wanna pick it up next time I see it at a used bookstore. You can see I bought Save the Date, Daniel and I are walking out. I'm very excited to have it. I would recommend you visit this bookstore if you're in the area. And like I said, I would show you a video of me flipping through, save the date. There was the signature and here are the first few pages. Um, it just looks like a really pretty book. So I was excited and here I am looking. It is a first edition. You see the one there and it says first edition. And now we can start reading it. I'm really excited. I, I want to read this one soon. Um, but it's about a wedding being very chaotic, so I might want to wait till after my wedding, just in case. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you will be able to visit yourself someday if you are in the area. And thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope to have more videos up soon, and...
I will see you in a future video then. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye.